हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक डू लूप एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ए वाइल गोइंग फॉर ए स्पेसिफिक सिंटेक्स ऑफ डू लूप वी स्पेसिफाइड दैट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स दिस डू लूप विल एक्सिक्यूट दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट सिंटेक्स ऑफ डू लूप so i'll just specify a proper comment also this is our first syntax in which you are specifying how many times your block of statements will execute now we will go for the second version of do loop or second syntax of do loop i'm specifying do i'm not specifying how many times this do loop will execute and i will write same to same logic in this in this loop also in this second version of do loop also sorry i'll just copy it properly i'll check the syntax and activate i will write proper comment so that we can understand this is our do loop this is our second version second syntax i will activate the program now just see most important part is going on now here we specify that this particular loop will continue 10 times so this loop will continue 10 times and we will get the output now just see in this particular loop you have not specified after how many duration this loop will come out after processing how many records after processing how many times this will come out so just think it is a endless loop it is a endless loop because you are not specifying after how much after processing how many records after how many times this loop will come out so this is totally totally a endless loop many time people do the mistake and their output will not come and they will get a run time error after some time because you went into a endless loop loop you should come out from the loop just think in this case our loop execute 10 times then we come out from the loop so it's a golden rule itself depends upon a certain condition loop should execute then it should come out from the loop else it is a endless situation here the same thing is happening you have a do loop executing 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 have you specified after after processing how many records or after processing this particular condition when this condition will meet it will come out from this particular loop we have not specified anything so it is a endless loop endless loop so we will write a specific condition so that after processing or after reaching that condition till bit will come out from the loop see here we specify 10 times so this loop execute 10 times here you are not going for any condition at all and in the project this is the widely widely used syntax because depends upon the real project example we need to come out based upon certain condition only so we will give a certain condition so when that condition will reach it will come out now we will go for important statement also that is called as loop statement and that statement is not executed don't is not restricted to do loop we can use in while loop also we can use in loop at internal table also so that particular statement we can use in every type of loop so we will write a logic here now if lv underscore input is equal to 
whenever our input will reach 15, we will come out from the loop. And how to come out from the loop? We have a keyword, we have a statement exit. And for every if, you know, you have to come, you have for every if, there is a end if. Most, most important thing. So if I will write a proper comment so that you can understand, I can give a comment by double quotes. I cannot use star here because this is not the start of the line. So what is the purpose of exit? Exit statement helps us to exit from the current loop. See, I'm using the word exit from the loop. So I'm not saying that it will only help us to exit from the do loop. With the help of exit, you can, you can exit from the while loop also. You can exit from the loop at internal table also. Because in the future, this particular statement we will widely, widely used whenever we want to come out from the loop. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. You can see when I applied the pretty printer, our code properly indented, properly indented. It is properly visible that this code is the part of this. This code is the part of this. Now we will understand fully how it is working. So for the best understanding, I will put a breakpoint. I put a breakpoint on 17 statement. So this is our first version. I can comment also because we want to understand this only. So I commented the first version of do loop. We will understand the second version of do loop. I'm executing. I'll go to desktop three. I'm on 17th number line. LV underscore input is 10. I'm on 18th number line. Is 10 is equal to 15? No. So exit, it will not exit from the loop. So it will simply, simply print 10. Now 10 plus 1 become 11. It will again come inside the do loop. See, it will execute, execute because we have not specified the times yet. Is 11 is equal to 15? No. It will print 11. Now 11 plus 1, 12. Now, is 12 is equal to 15? No. So it will print 12 and 12 plus 1 is 13 now. Now, it will go 13 is equal to 15? No. Now it will print 13. 13 plus 1, 14. Now, is 14 is equal to 15? No. Now it will print 14. Now 14 plus 1, 15. Now it will come here. Now you can see is 15 is equal to 15? Yes, 15 is equal to 15. So this if condition is true. Whenever this if condition is true, which statement will execute? Exit. Exit will execute. So it will simply, simply. Have you seen? Again, we came out. Again, control come to the do statement. It has not gone further to execute the statement. Now our do loop has ended and this is the output. Most, most important understanding in this video. So in this video, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we discuss that just make a golden rule. We should always, always come out from the loop after a certain condition met. It can be any number of records. It can be any number of times, but system should come out from the loop. If it is not coming out from the loop, it means it is an endless loop. So you will not get any output. It will be a runtime error. So we just studied the second version of do loop. In that case, we are not specifying how many times this do loop will execute. Based upon certain condition, we come out from the loop 
and we come out from the loop using exit statement exit is not dedicated to do loop exit you can use in any loop do loop while loop loop at internal table anywhere we will use this exit statement so that's it in this video in the next video we will move on to our next type of loop that is while thank you